Hey everyone, Sunch from Eagle Dynamics and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about some of the flak changes that are going to be taking place very shortly. And I'm going to show you what those changes are and how you can implement them within your missions. The first thing being implemented is, is the fire at point. It used to be in a vertical line and now it is more spread as you can be seen from the images. The explosive filler has also been reduced for the 88mm so that should help avoid sniper flak. So what else has been introduced? Well let's place a flak unit and I'll show you. Let's go to here at the template. A flak 18 battery we'll put it here. We'll click on one of the units, and in the advanced waypoints actions, we now have in the set option two selections altitude restriction min, altitude restriction max. Once ticked here, whichever altitude you've set is the altitude at which the heavy flak will engage. If we say 3000 feet in this particular instance, that's set. And then we add a second one, and we will select maximum, and we'll go up to 16,500 feet. So effectively, your heavy guns, which are the 88mm, will engage between 3,000 feet and 16,500 feet. So that's the latest addition. Let me show you how to set that up in sim via the mission editor. As you can see here, I've set up a little scenario. We've got four ship B-17s at 17,500 feet here. I set up a zone, and I've set up various flak batteries. Flak 1 left, flak 1 right, flak 2 right, and flak 2 left. Essentially, I've set this unit here to be a fire at point scenario, and this unit here to be a continuous spur fire to attack the bombers once they enter this zone. So I'm controlling it with flags and triggers when the aircraft enters this zone. Now those of you who have used fire at point before will realise that once this is set in the mission editor, you can set its zone radius and you can set its altitude, once it's set it will start firing from the start of any mission. So what I tend to do is I set up the condition so that once those aircraft enter the Calais flak zone, flag 30 will come on, which means that turns on the fire at point. I've then said when the aircraft come out of this zone, the stop condition is flag 31. So that means the fire at point will cease. It also means that you won't run out of ammunition because it started from the very start of the mission. So this fire at point is always better flag based. What I've also done here is I've set these two to altitude restrictions. So if it's 11,000 feet and 11,483 feet, they were just random. I know those aircraft won't fly in that band, which means both these units are set to be the same, which means they will not fire at the bombers. So if the aircraft is not in the altitude banding, the flak will not fire. What I've done here is I've set the altitude banding between 17 and 19 and a half which means this unit will engage those bombers as they are at 17,500 feet. Now again, what I've done with all of the units is turn them off until that aircraft enters the Calais flak zone. Right, now let's take a look at the actual triggers themselves. So at mission start, what I did was I turned all the flak units off by using group AI off. As you can see, left off, right off, 
fire up point off and the banding off. Next I use a switch condition and so that when part of the coalition is in the zone, which is the blue coalition, enters Calais flak, aircraft, then all of the flak units are turned on, and flag 30 is turned on, which starts the flak, and flag 31 is off. Next I said when part of the coalition is out of that zone, then flag 31 is on, and flag 30 is turned off plus the fact the AI is turned off at the same time. What I will do now is I'll show you it stage by stage. So first, I want to show you the fire at point. So what I will do is I will late activate this unit, making sure that it doesn't operate, so we can see how the flak works. Then we'll come back in, we will reactivate that unit, deactivate that one, and I'll show you how the continuous spur fire works. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting. I hope you enjoy playing with the flak settings. I also need to make you aware that the flak settings also apply to modern day AAA at the same time. So have fun playing with it and I'll catch you later. Take care now.